How much can you keep raising prices at a time where you're starting to see some real pushback and actually falling car prices on the margins? Yeah, if you look at this year, when you look at prices, they're down slightly. Um, I think the, the path of continuously increasing prices is behind us, and we're going to have to manage that. In certain areas, we'll be able to price new products where you have strengths, differentiation. But overall, I think the industry's past the, the large increases that we saw over the last couple of years, largely driven by inflation. And so now we need to look at affordability and where's affordability for the consumer and manage that very carefully. Do you feel like you have to respond to price cuts that have been reversed by Tesla, but price cuts in the industry just more generally, that there is this competitive momentum downward in terms of trying to cater to a consumer that's borrowing at a pretty high rate relative to history? Well, when you look at it, I think you have to look at it by vehicle and by segment and where the competition is, where you're at with the strength of your product, the differentiation that you can provide, where's the natural demand for that product. And right now, uh, we have a lot of new product on the road, especially in the uh, blue business as well as the pro business. And what we see there is that with the new product and the differentiation and the iconic brands that we have, we have pricing power and we have high demand. What's the proportion and how has it shifted of cars that are bought in cash rather than credit over the past five years. And I ask this in terms of the haves and the have-nots. People with money and cash are buying the cars and fueling the demand, fueling the sales that you're getting, and people on credit are disappearing. We haven't seen a large shift in the mix between cash purchases and purchases through credit. You know, we have a very strong credit company in Ford Credit, and they do a great job working with our customers. And um, what we have is we have a proprietary credit scoring model. And so we'll buy customers that others might say, um, aren't aren't purchasable or aren't uh, qualified and we have a very good record with that and you see that our credit losses or our, our severity it's not increasing it's still low so I think we have right. a really good a really good model in how we do that